Hello YouTube, this is Tom Materiales here and we're going to talk about the compensation balance in a, in a loan and how to make a calculator for a compensation balance in an Excel spreadsheet. Now, a compensation balance is when the bank does not believe that you're going to be able to pay all your payments throughout uh, the time that they're lending you money. Or maybe because you're asking for a better rate and the bank does not feel comfortable with it. So they are asking for a compensation balance. And uh, they are just freaking crooks. But, well, okay. Mm, now, okay. Since you need $100,000 for your business, how can I get rid of this crap? Since uh, you're asking for one hundred thousand dollars because that's the money you need, you're gonna be you're gonna and if you and you know that the bank is taking away from you five percent of the money you're asking from them, so what you need to do is to take the money you need and divide it by um, one minus. Five percent. So what you're finally asking for is one hundred and five thousand dollars, two hundred and sixty-three dollars and sixteen cents, and that is to get one hundred thousand dollars. So let's make the. So let's make up the numbers. So you ask for five one hundred and five thousand dollars. And they're taking away from you 5% of it. You're finally getting $100,000. The rate. Let's just think for a moment. Let's just pretend they're giving you 12% compounded monthly. Which is uh, that in the, in the period of time of one year, you're paying every month at the end. This is this is the mechanics of a nominal rate which is 12% compounded monthly but since there is no way in mathematical in, in finance math to make an amortization table with a nominal rate you're gonna have to turn it into an effective rate so you take this and divide it by 12 and you get 1% effective monthly rate an effective monthly. Let's just change this type real quick. Month. Monthly. Great. There you go. Okay. So let's start to make this um, amortization table and we we get here at the end cash flow. Cash flow. There we go. And this is what? This is why? Uh, <laughs> and this is because we need to know what the final rate of the of the of the bank is going to be. So your initial balance is one hundred and five thousand two hundred and sixty-three, as you can see here. But the bank additional payment. I just named it additional payment, but the bank is asking for five percent of this yes there you go so your final balance is going to be this one but in your cash flow this is the final balance minus the additional payment one thousand dollars now the final the initial balance is going to be the initial balance of uh, month one, it's going to be the final balance of uh, the month right before it. And now we calculate the interest rates. We take the, the initial balance and multiply it by the one percent we found before. And we calculate the payment. So if you're working, and I know you're working on a English uh, um, 
spreadsheet to make payment. You just type PMT and then open the parentheses like this. But this is not going to work here because we're talking about in a, we're, we're working on a Spanish spreadsheet so we just type Pago. Pago. And he's asking for the rate. The rate is 1%. And comma. And 24 months or 24 payments. As you can see. Minus. Uh, comma. Minus. And the money you're asking for. 105000 The principal. The payment of the principal is the payment minus the interest. It is the initial balance, the initial balance, plus the interest minus the payments. There you go. Now, this too. Uh, okay. Okay. So I, I used this. I fixed this to with uh, F4, the F4 command of Microsoft, Microsoft Excel. Now we take it down over here, and the principle is you can take it too. So that will do the end of it. And the final balance, we're just going to drag it to the 24th period. And the payment, you link it to the next uh, cell until it gives you a balance of zero at the at more month 24. Okay, so this is one way to make this, and the other way is just get, let's just get rid of it and paint this to yellow. Okay, now you don't need to turn into yellow, paint it to yellow. I just like to do that, and you link it to the next uh, cell and drag it down to the twenty-fourth uh, period. And then you go to data, this datos in Spanish, uh, analysis and if yeah, that's the name, find gold. I know this uh, command is called find gold, gold, <laughs> find gold, <laughs> find gold. Okay, define the cell. And you find and you define this last cell with the value of zero, changing the one you turn you paint in yellow, and then you hit enter and hit enter again and hit enter again, and you get the same value as you can see, and uh, everything is fine. Now for the for the cash flow, you take minus. The payment, right? Uh, double click here, and to find the final uh, interest rate of this loan, you hit plus ERR and open a parenthesis. Yes, but this is not going to work here for the reasons I told you. So I hit tier. And we just select all the payments and uh, initial payment and the money initially you initially get. And there for the TPU. Okay, let's put some zeros on it. This is a uh, 1.436% effective monthly. And if you want to turn this into an effective uh, compounded monthly, just to compare it with the same uh, units, need to turn it into a. Okay, let's just go ahead and do this here. Um, Why? I'm just so stupid sometimes. Just turning. Just multiply by 12, and then there you go. So, this is compounded 
That's a seventy seventeen point twenty two sixty sixty two percent compounded monthly. And if you want to turn into an effective monthly, just go ahead and plus one plus this rate to the yeah, the twelfth power minus one. Um, this is what the heck? I'm sorry. Effective. I'm moving. Which is an effective rate. Okay, so folks, this is everything for uh, this video and everything for now. Make sure to to, 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 to <laughs> make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.